All right. Uh, this video is was requested by Zendra. I guess it's how it's how it's pronounced. So she wanted to know how to get the players to look at the face and not the body, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you'll see they're looking at the uh, face, not the body. It's kind of hard to tell uh, with these characters because their eyes are white, but. Uh, it looks like this one, because he's kneeled down, it looks like he's looking at the body, but I think he's looking at the face. I might have to do another one on that. Uh, I might have to look into that. But the ones that are standing up are definitely looking at the face. It could be a rotation limit there. Anyway, uh, so you see how he's turning smoothly. So let's get started so open up your go to your character logic AI and go to ALS behavior tree and it'll be set up like this and I'll delete that so what we need to do is uh, first off let's just remove this by breaking it you can delete it if you want or just leave it there for now uh, we're gonna add a new service so select new uh, service and go to BT service underscore blueprint base that should be the only one you have uh, so rename this to BTS uh, look at face I'm gonna name mine look at face to, uh, for my example so in here we're going to right click and go to event uh, receive let's just say event tick and select for event receive tick AI let me uh, maximize this so you can see it better we're gonna get our player pawn off of here we're going to cast to character off of here we're going to get mesh and off of here we're going to get socket uh, location and it should be uh, lab labeled head so we're going to get the head location and drag out your owner controller here drag it out over here and say uh, uh, set focal point and uh, connect it up right there and that's all you have to do so over here on our behavior tree we're gonna right click on Rome and add service and choose the one that you made in this case it's BTS look at face tut so select this the one in green the one that's labeled what you added the serv that's your surface and we're going to remove this random deviation. We don't need a random deviation. And we're going to set this to 0 0.01 uh, for our interval tick. And you can try get, getting away with a, a smaller one, but you'll notice that it causes some issues. And I'll go ahead and show you uh, what it does. You see how it jerks? Yeah, for the guy that's crouched. So when they're crouched, they seem to react a little bit oddly. I'm not real sure what's uh, causing that. But the ones that are standing, they don't jerk. I don't know. I don't know if that's a bug with uh, ALS. I'll have to look into that. But you can uh, get away with it as long as they're not going to be crouching. But if they're going to be crouching, you're going to need a value of 0 0.01, which means it's basically almost going to be uh, firing every tick it's going to be updating the value and in that case you won't even notice because it'll be moving smoothly and yeah so that's how you do it so now they're not looking at the chest they're looking at the face and it's kind of hard to, it, because of the way the heads are shaped, it looks like they're looking down a little bit, but they're not. 
that's just the way they're uh, they're looking. So it's just the way their heads are shaped. So yeah, I'll look into that thing with the crouched character because the crouched character is acting a bit weird, and I think that might possibly be some missing logic there uh, for the AI when they're crouched. Anyway, uh, if you found this helpful, don't forget to like down below and uh, subscribe.